Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jet. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to render with a transparent background in Premiere Pro using the Alpha channels. In this video, I'll be running through how you can do this with text really quickly and also how you can go a little bit more in depth and grab a piece of content from a moving video and pull this off as well. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, go ahead and open up Premiere Pro guys and um, go ahead and actually import or get open whatever you actually want to make alpha whatever you want to create transparent first off i don't actually have anything that i want to do it to so i'm going to go ahead and actually just create some text right and animate that on a little bit and then that's going to be my alpha thing that i'm going to show you how to render so the text i want is going to be turn notifications on turn turn channel channel notifications on i would advise all you guys to do this um, you can go over to my channel, click the bell, and turn the channel notifications on. But that's just a little subliminal message for you, uh, <laughs> for you to hopefully take in. You know what I mean? Um, but boom, I'm gonna go ahead and center that. That's turn channel notifications on. And actually, let me go ahead over here and just go ahead and drop that to the very bottom. And let me go ahead and uh, Gotham, Gotham, boom, Bob Gotham. I like Gotham. Gotham is a nice font. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller and then go ahead and just drop it right down there. So, boom, I want this to animate on real quick. I want to go ahead and put the scale and the position. I'm gonna turn that to one second, right? So I'm gonna put those there real quick. Hold tight, I'm gonna do this quick for you and then show you how to do this. Um, boom, then I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that down there and put the scale on 50. So now if I play it, that is mad slow. Um, <laughs> hold tight, let me come back, let me come back for you. Let me come back for you. I'm gonna put that on right there. Oh, put that there. Boom, simple. That's gonna be my, it's gonna be my very easy alpha channel. Once you guys actually have your thing that you wanna create transparent, obviously we're gonna be creating back to be transparent against this. Just go ahead up to here to export, go to media and actually make sure your preset um, format is on QuickTime. Now when it's on QuickTime, that is not the only thing you have to do. You also need to go ahead and change the video codec to animation. Animation is the way you're actually going to be able to turn this into an alpha and um, overall how you can actually create this transparent. But boom, format, quick time, the actual codec, animation, and then animation will unlock this eight bit per BPC plus alpha. That is the one. And of course, render at maximum bit, uh, bit rate, use maximum render quality, use previews, even though I didn't need, uh, do any previews there. Um, and that's all you have to do. Now, if we go ahead and save this to um, here, I'm gonna call this tester, tester. Now, if we go ahead and export that, let's see, we'll just boom, let that go ahead and go through. And then that should appear over here in our mess around project. Let's go ahead and type in tester. Oh, okay. Of course, that didn't actually appear there. Let's go ahead to the desktop and grab this tester file. Tester file, go ahead and throw that in. And let's actually go ahead and throw a clip underneath it so we can actually see if, if it's actually alpha. Now, if we throw a clip underneath it, boom, go over here and boom, you can see that channel notification comes on. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the actual main size. And that is, boom, right there, alpha now. That is the tester.mob that we created. Turn on channel notifications or turn channel notifications on. Um, there we go. That is right there in essence, guys, how you actually pull off this particular effect and how you would actually go about creating something. Uh, maybe it's an overlay, maybe it's some text like that that you want, um, whatever it is, maybe it's a lower third. All this stuff is easily, um, easily turned to a transparent background just through that simple method right there. And that is the end of the video pretty much. I am actually just gonna go a little bit more in depth now and just do a few others, just simply as examples for anybody who wants to watch further, but that is in essence how you do it right there. So if you're just watching this video to grab the basic essence, that is it in a nutshell. Now, I just wanna go a little bit more in depth, like I just said, and have a look at creating some more stuff into alpha. Um, the thing I want to actually create is going to be a clip, a real video clip. I'm actually just going to go ahead and, and import a clip I did from my video the other day, which was talking about how to actually fake camera movement. And I'm actually going to go ahead and chop out one of these pieces. So the one I'm going to chop out 
is actually going to be this bad boy down here. Boom, that bad boy right there. Boom, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just open up the mask tool. Ba -ba -bow. And actually, I think I might be able, I might honestly be able to get away with this right here. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I honestly think I might be able to get away with this right here. Boom, now we've actually got the first frame. I'm gonna go ahead and mask the path. Just go ahead and give that a play and see how well Premiere actually does of masking the path of this. See, that's an interesting effect that Premiere kind of offers. It's similar to the rotoscope kind of tool where it can kind of semi figure out the path of where your stuff is going as long as it's not changing shape too much, which makes me think it will probably work for this particular thing right here. And it does think it, it does look like it's done it. Boom, so now if we go ahead and have a look at this, this is just a cup of soup that's actually being carried, essentially, or n n not being carried, but just has no background. So it looks like it's just moving by itself. So now if I go ahead and in and out this, in and out, drag that to the end, go up here, repeat the same process, just go ahead to media, quick time, obviously that's set to animation, boom, that's still there. Go ahead and tester numero doce. Tester numero dose. We are getting nice and Latino for this particular second example. Boom. Now we go ahead and bring that tester numero dose in. Boom. Go ahead and throw that up there. Let's actually go ahead and bring in a video clip. Boom. Now if we go ahead and overlay that, we see the cup of soup floating. It's floating in the club. I love it, man. I love it. Could we bring in we bring in some more some more crazy shots. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Boom. Let's, let, 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 let's make that big. Boom. Now we do have Future performing in the club with, of course, his trusty cup of soup that's working its way across the screen. You always got to keep a cup of soup when Future is performing in the club. If you don't have a cup of soup, they say that you will be doomed to not be able to hear the music. Um, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Boom, there you go guys. That's a couple different examples right there. An example with some text, and then an example with the cup of soup that's actually taken from a actual moving, not still video file. Overall, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, and goodbye.